Hello ET viewers and random Christmas shoppers. It's finally reached that time of year again where we all go out and buy each other presents. And nobody's harder to buy a gift for than us sci-fi and cult-loving geeks. It's so easy to make the wrong decision when it comes to presents which could end up leaving your loved one disappointed this Christmas. But don't panic, parents, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands and wives. I've put together a Christmas wish list that can't possibly fail. So grab yourself a notepad and pen as I present my top 10 Christmas gifts for geeks. At number 10, it's the Iron Man 2 Arc Light, a toy version of the arc reactor seen in Tony Stark's chest in the Iron Man movies. The toy attaches to your shirt and pops off easily. I'm impressed it lights up and emits three noises. A helmet and gauntlet are also available in the range, so your child can dress up as their favourite superhero this season. A perfect stocking filler for any Iron Man fan this year. Number 9 is the Avatar Blu-ray Special Edition. Remember earlier in the year they released a bare bones Blu-ray edition with no special features? Well finally Avatar has received the release it deserves, boasting impressive features such as an hour of deleted scenes, feature length documentaries and pretty much every special feature you could hope for except unfortunately audio commentaries. And then there's the quality of the high definition picture and sound, which is unbelievably mind blowing. The flora and fauna of Pandora really come to life and seem so textured and real. Impressive for a landscape that was made entirely within a computer. At number 8 is the Doctor Who TARDIS playset. Originally I did have reservations about this item that doesn't light up or make noise, but the detail has dented my dislike of it slightly. Every little piece of the TARDIS console has been represented immaculately, and there is just such a high level of detail in the entire playset overall. I still think it's unfortunate that it doesn't include lighter sound effects, but from what I've seen and heard, kids are loving it. But one more word of caution to parents, maybe spend some time building it on Christmas Eve as I've heard it's a little tricky to put up. In at number 7, it's the NECA Terminator 2 figures exclusively for adults. These are essential for any Terminator 2 fan this Christmas. They're highly detailed and boast many points of articulation. They look really well as a set and the T-800 figures bear an uncanny resemblance to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator fans have finally got the figures they deserve to display and show their appreciation of the film that they love. At number 6, it's the Doctor Who 2010 action figures. It wouldn't be Christmas for any Doctor Who fan without receiving at least one plastic model of the character they love. And it's an impressive range this year with the new 11th Doctor, Daleks, Silurians, Weeping Angels, Vampires, Autons and Smilers to choose from. Oh, and of course there's the Doctor's faithful assistant, Amy Pond. But get her while you can, there seems to be a global Pond recession as far as this figure is concerned. At 5, it's the Back to the Future Trilogy Collection tin Blu-ray set, which comes with all three classic films digitally restored to their high-definition best. But what's even more impressive is the special features. Sure, you get the usual stuff that came with the Collector's Edition DVD, but more goodies have been added, such as all new documentaries and interviews from the cast and crew, commentaries and deleted scenes. But the really impressive part is what comes in the, sp in the special Collector's Edition tin, actual prop replicas and memorabilia from all three films. It's a Back to the future fans dream come true so now you can own a copy of Grey's Sports Almanac and the Out of Time number plate among many other things but be quick it's a limited edition and won't be around forever In at 4, it's Doctor Who again, the Series 5 Blu-ray box set. It comes in an exclusive collector's steelbook which sports a creepy crack in time across the front and comes with exclusive art cards, while the standard edition has a lenticular image of the Doctor and Amy surrounded by various aliens and enemies. The high definition really makes a difference to your viewing experience with so many bits and pieces to see in crisp high def on the TARDIS console alone. It's every Whovian's dream. And the special features are fantastic. There's cool in-vision commentaries, the monster files and the entire entire series of Doctor Who Confidential, and also included are two Meanwhile in the TARDIS segments, which bridges the gap between episodes. So I would just have to say, 
Show me old visual records of previous TARDIS inhabitants. In. No, 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 no. I mean voice lot. I would have to say show me old visual records of previous TARDIS inhabitants. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. Thanks. Thanks, dear. Miss out the metal doll, why don't you? It's not a leather bikini. Outtakes, deleted scenes and trailers round off the set. An ideal and essential Christmas gift for any fan of the show. At number three and taking home the bronze medal, it's the Toy Story Collection Buzz Lightyear. Now this has been around for a while now, but I cannot stress how important it is that every fan of Toy Story receives one. Remember the original Buzz Lightyear toy from 1995? The stubby wings, the terrible laser and restricted articulation? Well, 15 years later, get ready to meet Buzz 2.0. It's unbelievably movie accurate, featuring over 65 different phrases, a movable head, a talkback feature, wrist communicator, glow-in-the-dark ability, a much improved wingspan, with wingtips that actually light up. If you ever find yourself wanting the Buzz Lightyear that Andy plays with in the Toy Story movies and not the rubbish Buzz Lightyear toys we've had to put up with for so long now, then this is the Buzz Lightyear for you. It even comes packaged in the same packaging from the film. An unbelievably good toy and the perfect gift for any Toy Story fan, young or old. There is a slightly cheaper version out there, but do yourself a favour. Spend that extra 20 quid and get your loved ones the Buzz Lightyear that they deserve. At two, it's the Doctor Who 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. The first toy I ever reviewed and out since April. Does anyone seriously still not have one? It's an essential bit of kit to have when it comes to watching Doctor Who. I know I'll have mine in my hand when watching the Christmas special. It flicks up and comes with a light up green emitter and two sound effects. There are also two hidden sound effects but don't use them as they break the sound chip. The detail is fantastic and though there may be other 11th Doctor Sonics available, this is the best screwdriver that's been produced so far and with batteries included it's certain to make any Doctor Who fan happy this year. And finally taking home the number one spot, it's the Toy Story Collection Lotso Huggin' Bear. How can you not find him adorable? He comes with 45 phrases and laughs when you tickle his feet. And then when you give him a hug, he'll thank you. But the best part? He actually smells like strawberries, just like in the movie. Even his box is just adorable. Definitely a huggable hit with the kids this Christmas. But whatever you do, don't lose them and replace them. It tends to send these bears a little crazy. Okay, so that's it. That's my Christmas gift guide for geeks. I hope this has been helpful to all you shoppers out there during this incredibly confusing season. Thank you very much for watching and Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Sing with me.